you know, it was like a, a festival of freedom on Tiananmen Square then. For the first time and the only time in the history of communist China, there was a period of freedom of expression, freedom of press. Mr. Zhou Feng Suo is a former Tiananmen student protest leader. He was number five on China's most wanted list of student demonstrators after the 1989 Tiananmen Square massacre. His sister turned him over to authorities, and he spent a year in prison, followed by a year of re-education. Uh, it, here it feels so much alike, you know, just uh, the uh, tense, the useful face, the uh, creative uh, presentation, and uh, the uh, people who are supporting, you know, uh, everything. It just feels so much like 25 years ago. You know, to see people uh, care about these issues they are, and they are willing to sacrifice for it, it's just tremendous. Late night, there are all kinds of discussion forums. Uh, and what's the topic? It's, it's about human rights, freedom, democracy. I mean, you would never imagine that happened in Hong Kong, yeah, where you know, everything is about being rich, getting rich, working hard. This uh, younger generation, the uh, refuse, they wouldn't, uh, you know, become just uh, obedient uh, servants of the Communist Party. Uh, the uh, independent, courageous, and that—that's what will make a free society and a democracy possible in the future of Hong Kong and uh, China. After the Tiananmen Square massacre. The Communist Party began a propaganda wave, turning the country against the students. Armed, out-of-control students attacked unarmed soldiers who were forced to act in order to preserve China. Zhou and his friends became enemies of the state. They killed people, they uh, distort the facts with lies, they repeated a million times, and for a lot of people uh, that uh, became the reality, uh, in particular for people in China. And people forgot, want to forget about it. And for the uh, participants, many of them had to uh, you know, uh, criticize themselves or others for their actions uh, during the uh, protests. Mr. Zhou now lives in San Francisco with his family but the memories of Tiananmen are still fresh. When I saw the tear guys right here, it was right here, I just couldn't, you know, it's, to me it was like 1989 again. 25 years ago, uh, when we were driven out of Tiananmen Square, I vote to myself, I will return. And uh, this is the time that uh, I uh, feel like I should. I'm so uh, happy that uh, I came and with the people I want to be with. At the same time, I feel uh, sad and uh, angry uh, because uh, you know, it's our generation's job then. We didn't finish it. Now the uh, young people of Hong Kong, uh, they are picking up the torch. The future is in your own hands. Go for it. It's yours.